All yeah. right, let's get into it. Let's do it. The big news continues, Rob, to be everybody's now intrigued about this Colin Kaepernick uh, workout. And teams have uh, Teams have committed up. to go. But Adam Schefter, who is as plugged in as anybody when it comes to the NFL, he's a bit doubtful that it might even happen. Rob G., can you read uh, a few of the tweets or comments that Adam Schefter made about this. Well, that's right, Chris. During yesterday's show, and we kind of touched on it briefly during the the live broadcast, he sent out a series of tweets that led to him kind of sounding like, hey, you know what, this may not happen. Um, Culminating, actually, let me just read the tweets for you. You can have it in, in front of you here. Number one, after initially agreeing to provide the list of personnel executives and coaches that would attend the Kaepernick workout, the NFL has reversed course and said it will not. A few minutes later, he says, several executives with teams have reached out as a courtesy to Colin Kaepernick's reps, saying they would they could not attend Saturday's workouts and were confused by the purpose of the NFL scheduling the workout. Quick follow-up. According to a source, league never promised to provide a list of attendees to Colin Kaepernick workout. See, I, I believe that. Right and there. they said multiple clubs are attending. So Kaepernick, his camp, says it was promised a list and they can prove it. An NFL source said the league did not make that promise, and on and on it goes. Culminating in today on WEEI in Boston, Adam Schefter says, quote, he's feeling skeptical that the workout will actually take place at so, this point. So he never reported to, on his ESPN thing that he didn't think it would happen. This no, was, no, he this just was probably a, was asked a just, question. Yeah, and he this said, was just I'm a little skeptical. Okay. And, and, and that's a good point, Rob. And this is Seriously, for, for, for people, is listeners who are not, oh, listeners who are not, reporters, uh, 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 when a when a writer is really sure of something, you would report they write that. It. You would you would they write, write it. You would say you don't just tweet. You may tweet it too, but you would but write, you write a story. You don't just comment on a radio station when you're being interviewed. Or even say it on TV. That's saying like, I think, for instance, I think Kevin Durant's going to Golden State. Right. That, that that's, that's different than. My Kevin Durant, Durant is, going is going to sign with the Golden State Warriors, according to sources, I, and it's written down on paper. No doubt about or, it. And the you same know, the thing, internet. if he really believed like this isn't going to happen and he had talked to people said this is falling apart, it'll never happen, right. you would write that. No that would doubt. be a big story. No doubt. So, so that's why. And the other part, Chris, and I brought this up yesterday, and you agree with me, Kaepernick has no choice, it, it, no matter how it's laid out. Chris, if, if he wants if, to play football, that's what again. I'm talking yeah, about. He has no. If choice. he doesn't go through with this, it's it's a done deal. Okay, nobody will want to hear about it. I'm telling you. I think, so. I think he has to go, and 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 this is his chance. I agree with you, Rob. I will give a little sliver, maybe one two percent to this. It's is it possible that because all of these stories have come out and all there's all this skepticism. And it really looks like the NFL is putting Kaepernick in a position to fail. That he could come out and say, look, I definitely want to play in the NFL again, but I don't feel like I'm giving being given, you know, a fair opportunity. He doesn't have to say it in these exact words, but you know, I would like uh, to be able to choose my receivers or, you know, you could just point out some of the things. They're forcing me to do it on this day. I would rather do it when coaches and general managers can be there. It, is it possible he could do that and and somebody, you know, because people see, people in the NFL, just not regular people who follow the NFL, see how this doesn't look like a great situation for Colin. No, I, 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 don't, I don't think so. Not for a guy who hasn't played in three years. Nothing's going to be perfect. Can't be the well, perfect. This is beyond it, not it, perfect. It, it, it can't, this is it like, can't be the does perfect. It, do you not think they could be setting him up to fail? No, because if I go out there and I throw the football and I look like a quarterback, He's that's all I can like, do. He, what else is he going to look but like? But that's what you do with a tryout. You still have to want to see but people. They, they, they know. What else does he need? I don't even want to argue because I do agree with you that it, he not, has to go. I'm just presenting an opposite okay, viewpoint. I, but I, I do wonder this. What's he going to do at the workout Chris, that 
is going to shock anybody. We know he's got a cannon for an arm. It does, but that's we a, know he can run. He's athletic. What are, what are the combines for? The guy played a col- four years in college, three years college in college. College is different. We saw everything. We saw his size. I watched the video. I watched the film of him. And they still make these poor kids come out there to take a look. Is he really six foot four, or is it fudge? Is he really this? When I sit down and talk to him, where his head is. That this may be kid more is what important. Call- no, I the agree. The interview may be more important. And that, where's I his mean, head if he now? goes out there and looks horrible, that's another thing. If he goes out but there assuming- and he's got a, 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 a pot belly and he hasn't been working out, and I look and go, well, well the that's video- not even. No, know, I'm, that's I'm not just even saying, Chris, that's what you want to see, what the guy is and where his head the is. The interview all. might be the most that's important all. thing. But look, you've got 13, 11 teams, I'm sorry, that have committed to attending. The Arizona Cardinals. That's a third of the, the league. The Atlanta That's Falcons, fine. the Cleveland Browns, Denver Broncos, Detroit Lions, Miami Dolphins, New England Patriots, New York Giants, New York Jets, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Washington Redskins. And here's something I like. Hugh Jackson, the former head coach, is leading the workout. So this is not And he's some, joined by former NFL head coach Joe Philbin. These are so not like these that. are not like some uh 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 wreck football coaches that they called and these are these are guys who are, were head coaches in the NFL. They're not going to put together something that's not going to be of of the standard of the league. So I like that. I'm with you. I like that. I, I what I don't like is this, Rob. The stipulations they put on Kaepernick Calling him and giving him two hours to ch- accept or reject it. Saying it has to be on this day. And it happens to be a day where most coaches and general managers can't attend. That's what I don't like. Uh, that's it why you have scouts. It doesn't seem like it's in good faith. I, I disagree. I just don't think. Why Why would you force it on? Because, it's, because it's like there you, is no time, Chris. What, what do you why? mean? There, no, a Tuesday. How about that? When a coaches t- and GMs could attend. How about that? Yeah, but what's so hard about holding it but on you Tuesday? Just, you just said that that what is it going to show them that a GM and a what's called is going to fly there and for a backup said, quarterback? And you just for said a back, there's reasons to look at it. For a backup quarterback. But my point is a scout can do that and, and write a report. A scout doesn't hold that much weight. No, but they, they all they want to do is take a look. We talked to them. I like what he had to say. Here's my report. And then there from the general manager, if I'm interested, we invite him to come to whatever city it is and meet with the general manager, meet with the coach you, on a Tuesday. You can't sit here. You can here. do that, Chris. I, yes, you can. That's you, what I don't Rob, understand. you can't sit here and act like they are not putting him in a bad position. I'm, are you going to sit here and say that? Yes, I disagree really? with you. Really? Yes. They call you on for, the phone. For, hey, for, you, you, you got to be a, here this day. Yes. I, I, what, I, how about on a Tuesday when, when coaches, and Scott GMs can be there. They're putting him in a bad position. How about another Saturday They're when putting I him can, in a bad position get more where he's ready been blackballed from the league for three years and that league, league had that that, He's been in a bad position. Didn't have a, com- a conversation with him for over a year and never talked to him. So now that they reach out and try to set something up, it's the worst thing in the Showing world. Showing some respect. It ain't perfect. Showing some respect. That's all I'm saying. There's a wide gap between perfect and bad. I just think everybody's it nitpicking. It can't be somewhere in the middle. Nitpicking? Yeah. Yes, yes. Goodness, Go out there and throw like the football. It's like if you said I, to I, me, if you said to me, I, you know, I want to be on the radio. I'm just not getting any opportunity. And then one day you're just driving along, haven't talked to me in months. I call you, Rob. You still want to be on the radio? Yeah. All right. Ten minutes. You you coming on with me? Yes. Is that putting you yes. in a good position? But, or but you it's know not? what? I would be there if I was really serious about being on the radio. And if you called me and said, "Hey, my partner got sick." I need you to come in in the next 30 minutes for tonight's show. If I'm really serious about radio, I would be there. If I tell you, Chris, man, that's cool, but nah, I'm not available. I got, I'm going out to dinner. I, I, can you? Can I come in next Saturday? No, I, he has no, to you do can. it. I get that, but I'm just saying they're putting him in a bad spot. He does. It doesn't have to be. They've already this put Saturday. him in a bad no, spot. No, I agree. It's, that spot's worse. What they did to him was worse. I than just asking wonder if the guy this is legit. Out. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right. I I'm mean, not... give him give him a better chance. That's just what I don't like about it. Okay. Like I, you I, called I... it. You could have called him a week. The, the reports have been that the NFL told certain reporters we got news breaking next Tuesday. You couldn't have called Kaepernick's reps and they... said, "Look, we're working on something. We may be able to set up a workout for you next Saturday. Could you do it? Just show the man some respect. They didn't have to even call. All I'm telling you after no, three years. No, they didn't years, call. They, I'm, I'm saying 
They didn't have to call they, this they're time. They're making him take Nobody's crumbs. Nobody's been talking about they're making Colin him take Kaepernick. Crumbs. The NFL didn't have to open this up and bring this topic back to, to – to, we're leading the show. We're not talking about NFL football. We're talking about Colin Kaepernick. The NFL wouldn't just do this. For, there's no reason to. This is what I don't understand. What do they gain? All they get is bashed for, for doing it because they're not doing it the right way, Chris. They're not doing it the right, right way. But I'm just saying, so what and do they get out of it? And you're saying that's the only option? It's either that or bust? This is what he has presented to him. Right. If he's serious we, about we football, if he's serious about playing, and, you, and, and if you don't like it, don't go. Don't go. They should have shown the man don't more go. respect. That's, that's what all I'm, I'm saying. saying. They should have showed the man more respect. It's like they're trying to make him buckle. If that was the case, if you want to play, that, you got to obey. That's the way that they do it. I, I, well, I'm that with ain't, you. That ain't, show the man some respect. I'm with you. All right. You're turning away in 877-99 on Fox. 877-996-6369. Should Colin Kaepernick consider pulling out of the NFL scheduled workout on Saturday? Robin, I don't think so. We think he has to show up. I think it's a, a tough situation. But he still has no choice. Go out there and light it up. What do you say? Let's start with Andre in Massachusetts. Welcome to the Odd Couple. Yeah, thanks for taking my call. Listen, uh, no cap in this workout. I don't want to hear anything more about Kaepernick. It's done, okay? This is his opportunity to get it done. He needs to sit down, him and Nessa, sit down, watch a league of their own, learn from the great Penny Marshall. If it wasn't (laughs) hard, everyone would do it. The heart is what makes it great. Quarterback is the most prestigious position in the world of sports, period. I don't care if soccer is the most popular sport globally. Football is the most popular sport in the most influential nation, okay? And if you want to be a quarterback in one of those 32 teams, you got to have a junkyard dog mentality to get that opportunity. So the little uh, ancillary things on the outside mean nothing. If he goes out there and shines, he will get an opportunity. He will have a shot back in the NFL, and that's the end result. Many of us want, and hopefully he wants. If he wants to be a martyr and a legend in his own mind and in, in the mind of his followers, then he can back off and fade off into the distance. But I, I expect to see, to see Cap there doing his thing. All right, Andre, good, good call. call. And he, we, both, we both agree. We both, yeah, we right. both agree gotta on go. that. He's got to go. Jacob in New Mexico, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Jacob? Oh, uh, yeah, what's up, guys? How are you? Hey, man. Hey, I want to say that he needs to take the opportunity. I'm from Los Angeles. I live out here in New An opportunity knocks, you got strike. You know what I mean? Uh, this guy does not have much time. You guys agree that a style of quarterback, if his caliber, a running guy, doesn't last long in the league. Oh, we losing right. you, Jacob. It's already yeah. a bad thing, you know what I mean? He's right. already been there and done that, so how much left do you have in the tank being that type of quarterback? You know, you got to strike while the iron's hot, I guess, you know? Nah, we no, we agree. Doubt. Thank right, you, Jacob. Jacob. Let's go to Keith in Peoria, Illinois. You're on with Chris and Rob. How you doing? What's hey, up, guys? Man? You have a great great show, man. I love you all the time. Thank hey, you. Just my, now, it's, Rob, very seldom I agree with you, but on this call, you are – Definitely correct. The man set out videos showing all these weights that he was lifting and throwing the ball to OBJ a few weeks ago. It doesn't make what any difference. If it's a Monday or Tuesday or Thursday or Friday, it doesn't make any difference. If you feel like you want to get back in the league and you're ready to do your job, I tried out as a free agent back in 86 with the Cowboys, missed out on the second cut. And I feel like when you get that opportunity and you have to do it like the two guys before said, Take that opportunity. I don't care what time it is. Get out there, show your stuff, and see what you got. I think that's the way he needs to go, and I think that's the way he needs to be. There you go, Rob. Very seldom, but you were right this time, Chris. There you go. All All right, right. Keith. We appreciate that. Finally, what about – he finally agreed with me. (laughs) Michael in Washington, you're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What you got, Michael? Hey, guys, let me tell you, great, great show. I love you guys. You guys are like peanut butter and jelly the way you guys go together. <laughs> Thank wow. you, man. We appreciate that. I'm the peanut butter. Uh, he can be yeah. the peanut butter. <laughs> Cause, I'm, cause, I'm Oscar. No, because Chris is sweet, so he's the jelly. <laughs> <laughs> and so, my cheese uh, was hot. <laughs> uh, I'm, like, I'm like the last few callers. I think Kaepernick blew his own horn saying, I'm, I'm working out five days a week, three hours a day. I'm ready to go when called. Now he's got to put up or shut up. Now he's backed himself into a corner. you got to take what they're giving you. This is like an entry 
level uh, uh, little thing where they're going to come back to the GMs and coaches and say, hey, he did a great job. He sounded great in the interview. Let's bring him in and have him throw to our receivers On now. a Tuesday, right. I right. totally and agree. Let's see if he can, right. Let's see if he can pick up our lingo, pick up our offense, throw to our guys. Is he getting along? Great. Let's keep him, you know, for ha- forever how long we want him. Um, and, and see where we go from there. But he's got to go, no doubt. Good call, Appreciate Michael. It. We agree. Let's go to Thomas in Sacramento. Thomas, you're on with Chris and Rob. Hey, fellas. How's it going? What's going happening? Great. Hey, I'm first-time caller, long-time listener. On this one, I'm going with Rob. And so here's the deal. In my mind, and a lot of people have called in and already said some of the things that I was thinking, but this is a tremendous opportunity. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. We, if Kaepernick goes in there feeling like he's being slighted because it's on a Saturday, then he's already lost the mental game. This is something that he's wanted for three years, and he's battled for, and he's desired. I can tell you if I wanted something and I kept myself in condition for a, for a dream and a goal for three years and somebody called me, I would not hesitate. I'd be jumping through the roof with joy for my opportunity. So the day doesn't make it a bad opportunity or a great opportunity. The opportunity itself is great. Well, well said, he, Thomas. He said well on his said. tweet that he's looking forward to it and excited. He said he's excited to see all the GMs and coaches. Some people have said that was facetious because, you know, he knew they wouldn't be there. But the tweet looked like he had a positive attitude. Let's go to Tony in Wisconsin. Tony, you're on with the Odd Couple. Hi, guys. I just saw um, you know, earlier you were saying you got to give him some respect. And I, I think he has to earn the respect. And the opponents that be in the NFL maybe feel like he hasn't done that respectful, you know, in the past. And he In terms of what? What's that? Just in, in how he's acted in the past. And so I say if he wants to earn it, he's got he's to gotta show up and show what he can do. I think he should get the respect. He's played in the league. He's played in the Super Bowl. They know he can play in the league. That's not why well, he's not in the NFL because they think no. He it's can't not throw about his ability, anymore. right? It's it was what what over the whole protesting and right. I, and I'm with you. You know we've been in lockstep on it. On right. This. He didn't do anything wrong. But Tony, thanks for the call. I'm with her. Rob and I we and, agree. And we, we agree. He's got to go do it. No, I no, just you're think, not saying you're not yeah, saying that he. I'm not saying he should. You're not do saying it. oh well, it's not set up right and he shouldn't go. No, right. If he doesn't go, Chris, I, I just don't see how. How in the world are you going to ever get back? That's right. all I'm saying. No, there's no question about it. Hey, it's the Odd Couple. I'm Chris. He is Rob. And we want to encourage all of you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. You know, you can listen to us on the radio. And now you can watch us as well. And it's fun. No question about it. And remember, oh, yeah.